get this video started, I have one big massive announcement and that is our latest truck giveaway, Wrenchworks giveaway number 15 goes live tonight on the 24th. When the clock strikes midnight on the 24th, the website will be live with our latest truck giveaway. So if you want to get in soon, you want to get an ASAP, you want a sneak peek of the giveaway before everything launches, make sure you guys go to the website, wrenchworks.com, get entered. Our highest entry multiplier will be live, so make sure you guys get in ASAP, but I'm so pumped to show you guys. You guys will see all of it come out here very shortly, uh, but in tonight's video, I just want to give you a little, little sneak peek. So let's get on with the video. Just one on one with me and you, and it's been forever, and it's been a minute, and there is tons of stuff going on and going around, and sometimes I feel like we get caught up in very specific videos, mainly like the suspension videos on Green Bean here the last little bit, and there's no real like me and you and like updates on everything else that's going around here. Um, so in this video, it might be a little all over the place, but I want to try to catch up with you guys, get some work done on a few trucks uh, tonight, little little late night work action and kind of just catch you guys up in general. So uh, lots of stuff happening, lots of exciting, cool things. Uh, first off, the shop is an absolute disaster currently right now, and that is because we are finally getting some railings, some basically a, a half wall built up here. It has been forever, it's been needed, and it really comes down to like the weather being crappy outside. It's pretty much crappy, it's cold, it's snowing, it is absolute crap everywhere. Uh, so the guys who built the building kind of like save all that work obviously uh, to do inside work uh, when it's crappy outside. So uh, save that for now, they're doing an awesome killer job. It's pretty much almost done. We're gonna put some, uh, I would say like little gates here, that way we can still put pallets up there, uh, parts kind of inventory stuff up there, but overall just kind of like getting the building a little bit further along. I uh, got a railing over here, but anyway, that's kind of like a, a little shop update. We've been waiting to get this done and kind of repurpose the upstairs, but that has been going on. So the shop, the shop is a disaster. The shorty used to be here, uh, but I want to go over the rest of what's going on in the shop besides it being a complete disaster and moving everything around for these guys. So um, obviously you guys have been seeing this truck. You've been seeing green bean. You've been seeing the progression uh, that truck so absolutely killer. Uh, first gen, let's just, go, let's just go down the list. First gen, burnout truck of the year. Uh, we just had this thing out in the snow. a little hot uh, like it currently does well it, 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 it does frequently let's put it that way um, it did get hot the engine fans didn't kick on for whatever reason this thing does need a little bit of love before it's ready to completely burn it down the entire summer long just killing tires everywhere it goes um, there are some bigger plans in the works for this truck but for right now burnout truck is what is the plans with some minor rehab with the engine setup that's going on now. Uh, we definitely did get into the grass and we have quite the mess that still has not gotten cleaned up. But again, shop mess, just trying to get everything away from them. Uh, Pro Street truck, as you guys know, uh, the 05 is currently up at SNS uh, with Michael getting the MoTeC stuff completely done. Once he is done with that, We'll probably jump on the 12 valve for a little bit, uh, either that or the Pro Street truck. The Pro Street truck is next up on the list. It has been sitting over here in the corner. Really, it's been sitting on the dyno, but you guys, it's it, it's just really taking up space right there. So the Pro Street truck is what's next on the list, and we'll get back on that. The extended cab first gen project has been sitting here way too long. We need to get back on that. I want to be able to get that thing out and use that thing this summer. 
Really where this video stems from is last night I got a hair up my butt and decided that I was tired of seeing the second gen sit in the exact same spot. Uh, if you guys have been following along with the long lost second gen build, uh, besides just seeing it sit here in this spot in the shop, you guys would have known that we uh, were going to do the VE competitions. <laughs> So uh, we did not make that happen, kind of just ran out of time and things happened. And here it sits with its VE pump. Well, used to be VE pump. So we actually spent some time last night getting this thing, hold on, hold on, hold on. Again, told you, keeping it nonchalant, keeping this thing rolling. Uh, we've got the VE pump out of the truck. Now, I do have mixed feelings on where I'd like to go with this truck. Uh, in my mind, I had talked about common rail swapping it uh, for quite a while. That's still a thought in my head. But what's going through it currently is that it would just be nice to use and to drive. And if that means the VP pump goes back on it and it kind of goes back to a little bit more of like where the truck was and, and what it was doing, uh, then, then I think I'm okay with it. Uh, the VE stuff that was on there um, was really meant for like the competition stuff. So uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and put the VP pump back on it, put a turbo setup on it, running, driving, uh, enjoying it, uh, and, and being able to kind of like move it in and out of the shop. Uh, not that really the VE pump couldn't actually do that, uh, but I think it'd be nice to kind of like go back to where it was. So I think that's where we're at. Obviously you can see we've got valve train off, we've got the gear case off, we need to pull the cam back out to change the, cover, the front cover to accept the VP pump and we have just continued to make a absolute mess of this place so don't mind that but that's actually real life there the shop the shop does get messy quite often uh with everything that's going on so that's kind of like everything in this shop uh also in the same evening that i did that uh and again i apologize i didn't pick up the camera i'm kind of like i feel like this the 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 nights the after hours where i just come out here and try and like jam out is probably the time that I should pick up the camera and kind of keep you guys updated with all this stuff. So before I go ahead and make another night's worth of progress on that and another night's worth of progress on the shorty build, uh, I wanted to catch you guys up with all that stuff and then just keep the camera rolling and kind of like just bring you guys through uh, the nights. I call them after hours, it's just one continuation um, of everything that we try to get done here. In a, in a daily basis. It's a lot. It's a lot. So uh, last night worked on the shorty build as well. Again, LST is coming up. Uh, Lone Star Throwdown in Texas. Uh, it'll be here before I know it. Like I mentioned, Green Bean's going to be there. We're also bringing the shorty. So the shorty is also kind of like a big push to get that thing like completely, completely done. I know we had it out of the shop. I know there were some uh, big jumps made, but there's also all the small little finishing details which are going to take some time. So the shorty is actually over in the other shop uh, to kind of get it away from this shop madness over here. I know I'm talking fast. I'm just trying to get through it because ultimately... We just wanna to get to the work, right? So let's go over to the other shop and show you guys exactly what has been going on with that thing and what I did last night. Like I mentioned, Greg A, official weather report. It has been a minute. It's actually currently sleeting, freezing rain. Um, and if you know anything about me and have paid attention, I absolutely despise the cold. And I know it's probably 10 million times colder wherever you're at. I'm not saying that it's not, but it's cold here. I hate the cold. It's been snowing. Uh, it has been delaying stuff and I am just not about it. So anyway, race shop. 
here we go. Like I said, the 05 that was in here for uh, quite a while is over at SNS. Michael is killing it over there, getting the 05 ready to rip. And again, we decided to uh, put the 05 ahead of the Pro Street truck so we could get that thing done, dialed, ready for ultimate call out challenge. Uh, for this upcoming year. So decided to stick the shorty over here for just protection purposes from the uh, the construction guys. Uh, but last night, uh, one of the big things that we needed to accomplish on the shorty in order to kind of get it back on the road per se was uh, do a hot retorque on the cylinder head. We have a fresh Freedom Racing Engine Stage 2 cylinder head and uh, fire rings in that bad boy. So we went ahead and did a hot retorque before we go ahead and put coolant in it. So need to put coolant in it. We did that last night. Uh, I always wait till the next day, which is today, current day, to go ahead and put the uh, valve train back in and then go ahead and check valve lash uh, when it's cold. So when everything's hot, I usually check valves when it's cold. Uh, so we can go ahead and complete that and put the truck back together. On top of that, a couple like miscellaneous things that we're just trying to knock out. We've got an oil change that we're gonna be doing. Went ahead and put the wiper motor back in the uh, the cowling um, so just a lot of miscellaneous random things I wrote down a full list of everything that we still need to do to this and it was just about a page long whether it's minor or some of the wiring stuff that still needs to be done but that is where we are currently at in this week, so to say, with everything that's going on the last couple days. Michael over here has completely torn down the rail for the season. Uh, we've got his engine back up at the Freedom Racing Engines for those guys to kind of go through it uh, and give it some updates and kind of just take it to the next level on the engine program. Uh, but he's got this thing stripped down just to make sure everything is good for the next upcoming season. We're planning on going full steam ahead with the rail as well. Uh, uh, just kind of keep breaking records, keep burying stuff. Uh, he's got some goals, uh, but rail is apart. And yeah, that's kind of where everything is at. So I think what we're gonna do first is we're gonna stay over here on the shorty. We're gonna go ahead and put all of the valve train stuff back together. Like I said, do the valve lash, uh, change the oil, get that back together. That way uh, this thing can be pulled out uh, at the end of the night and we can put coolant in it and pretty much get it ready to uh, drive again. So that's where that truck is at. And then uh, I think after that is done, then we will come back over to the big shop and we will continue to work on the second gen, getting that thing back to its VP life. So here is where we're at. We got our front cover off. We've got our cam out. Uh, we've got all of our valve train pulled up, our tappets pulled up so we could pull our cam out. So we're pretty much ready to kind of clean up the block surface, the front pan gasket surface there. Uh, inside this uh, mess over here, there should be some gaskets, hopefully, uh, to go ahead and reinstall our VP cover, uh, to go ahead and install our VP pump. In case you don't know, uh, the VE pump is held onto the back of this case by these three studs. The VP pump is held onto uh, the case by four studs, so it's just a little bit of a difference in uh, the gear, the mounting, and everything else. The as far as the um, the uh, vacuum pump and the uh, the pump that sits right here, that's the same. Um, so that'll swap right over. That's why this is kind of just laying right in the hole right there. Right there, you can see vacuum power steering should just bolt right on the new case. Again, seeing that this was a VP truck, we're just putting on basically all of our factory stuff. It should fly together pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. I do believe we cut a return fuel line, so we might have to figure out something with that. Luckily, Mitten Motors is right down the road and we can go steal probably everything that we need that we may have modified, which I can't even remember. It's been so long, but we're rolling along. We're doing good. Uh, we do need to get a different turbo over here on this side, probably clean a bunch of this stuff up. This is an S400 downpipe that we had adapted on here. So 
There will be some other work things and stuff to go along with putting everything back, but it is going pretty smoothly. It's, it, I don't know if it's doable or not, but the, the goal for tonight, I don't care how late it gets, we're going to try and push and see if we can't get this sucker fired back up. We may not have a turbo on it, may not be all the way, we're going to see if we get this sucker fired back up. We do actually have all the gaskets that we need, so we've got a new uh, front gasket from the block to our VP case. So there's our VP case, definitely needs a little cleanup job. Also have a new gasket right here for our vacuum power steering pump, whatever you want to call that. So that was nice, we have that. And we also have the appropriate new front main seal, which we're gonna go ahead and put in our VP front cover here. So we're gonna go ahead and knock that out, get that in. Those were the appropriate seals that we kind of needed to put this thing back together. Our VP sitting over there. So all that's left to do is kind of put everything back together the way it was. And we'll see if we can't get this bad Larry fired up. For the video is accomplished. We have got the second gen fired back up with our VP pump back on there. Obviously, we've got some odds and ends and, and obviously a manifold and a turbo to put back on here, but the engine, the front cover, the VP pump, uh, all the lines, all that stuff is back on here and the engine is fired up and back running. So uh, we are gonna outfit the rest of the accessories and, and like I mentioned, the turbo, all that stuff, we'll go ahead and put everything back together, but goal for this video was to swap the pump back on it, make sure we're all good, fire it up, make sure everything's good. Now, we did we did happen to forget that we, uh, at one point, did happen to steal the fuel pump block off plate on the side of the block uh, on this truck for whatever reason, probably for another build, uh, and we need to go ahead and put that because obviously there's oil spilling out of the block, which, glad we shut it off pretty soon, but lots of odds and ends, but on the right path to seeing this bad boy back on the road, back on the street, back having fun with it, and that was the whole entire goal, whole entire point of uh, uh, kind of here. So anyway, we're going to save the big news for uh, maybe the next video or two. I know I kind of left you guys on a little bit of a cliffhanger there. I apologize, but I want to get a couple things more in a row. That way it makes a little more sense to you guys. So we've got some big plans for the second gen. I'm really excited uh, to kind of continue on the process with this truck. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's it. That is a wrap. Uh, make sure you guys head over to wrenchworks.com. Again, a quick reminder, tonight at midnight on the 24th, our latest truck giveaway goes live. You're not going to want to miss it. It's it's ins it's ins it's insane. It's one of my favorite builds ever. But there you have it. Second gen back up, fired up. Let's go get this bad boy back on the road. We'll see you guys in the next video real soon. See ya. Actually, tomorrow. Tomorrow is the next video. So if you're watching this, come back tomorrow. Stay tuned because there will be another video tomorrow for you guys. We'll see you.